In our last video, we learned how to create new variables using the commands generate and egen. But sometimes, all we need is to modify existing variables. And we have to use different commands to do that. And this is the topic of this video. Let's learn some commands we can use to modify variables. So let's take a look at their syntax. Here are the three variable manipulation commands we are going to look at in this video. The first one is to clone existing variables. The second one is to replace or change the contents of a variable. And finally, to rename a variable. To clone an existing variable, all you have to do is type the command clone var, the name you want to give your new variable equals your variable name, so the variable you want to clone, and you can use the qualifiers if and in. We're going to look at some examples to make this more clear. Then, if you want to create or change the contents of a variable, we have to use the command replace. And you type the command replace, the name of the old variable, that is to say your existing variable equals an expression. So you have to type the expression you want to see, and you can also use the qualifiers if and in. And finally, you can also rename a variable, which is a very simple syntax. Just type rename, the name of the variable you have, your old variable name, and the new name, so the name you want to give that variable. Now, let's see some examples. Here in Stata, we have a do file that's available for you to download and contains all the commands we're going to use in this video. So the first thing I want you to do, as we have done in our last commands, is to set up our data set, which is the auto data set, select everything, press Ctrl D. So here to your right is our data set. Everything is here. And in our last video, we saw how to use the commands generate and egen to create a variable, two variables actually, called high rep 78 G for generate and E for egen, which were equal to rep 78, but only contained the records for three, four, and five, and everything else was missing. So let's execute these two commands once again to create these two variables. We select them and press Ctrl D or execute selection. Here to your right, we can see that we have these two variables that have been created. And now I want to show you how to do the same thing with the command clone variable. So first, let me show you how it works. To clone a variable, all you need is the command clone var, the name you want to give your new variable. Here I'm using rep78 with an uppercase R, and this is just a copy of rep78. So let's select this, Control D. Here we have rep78, and let's browse rep78 with an uppercase R and rep78 with a lowercase R. And here we have they're the exact same. Back to our do file. Now I want to use the command clone var to create a variable called high rep 78 C, which should be equal to these two other variables here. And note that the syntax right here, the command is pretty much the same as we used with gen. The only difference here is that I'm saying that rep 78, high rep 78 C is going to equal rep 78 if rep 78 is higher or equal to three, just like we did here, and different from missing. Because I know the highest value of rep 78 is a five, and I don't want to consider missing values. So this is pretty much the same. I could just as well substitute this for this year but I just wanted to show you how to do it in a different way. So let me undo this and execute this. And we have created another variable called rep 70, high rep 78 C. So we have too many variables here. Let me just drop this big, this uppercase R for rep 78 because I don't need it. Okay. So I want you to note a couple things here. Uh, just the labels. So when you use generate, there's no label to your variable. When you use egen, it's going to create a label according to the condition established and depending on the function you use. In this case, it did create it. So it's saying it's rep 78 if three to five. And when you clone a variable, it's just going to repeat. It's going to use the same label from the original variable, which is 
Rav78. So note that even though they're different, they have the same label. So you have just learned how to clone a variable. It's very simple. And let's make sure these three variables are the same. So remember, we can use asterisk as a wildcard. Since we have a high rep 78, G, E, and C, if we do this, we're going to browse all three variables at once. And here we are. Visually, you can see they're pretty much the same. We can also check that using the count command, just like I did in our last video. And I want to count if high rep 78 G is different from high rep 78 E, or this is the command for or, the operator for or, and high rep 78 G is different than high rep 78 C. So we want this to be zero because we want high rep 78 G to be equal to high rep 78 E and high rep 78 C. We could also add another expression here to compare E and C, but it's gonna be pretty much the same. So if we execute this, we expect the result to be zero. And here it is. Now let's see how we can replace values and why we should use that. So suppose I want to take the new variable I have created, high rep 78 C, and I just wanted to keep the records for four and five repairs. I want to eliminate three. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace every value three with a missing. And the syntax says, please replace high rep 78 C equals to missing if, so for every case where high rep 78 C is equal to three. So what I'm doing here is replacing every value three in the variable high rep 78 with a missing value. Let's execute this. And now let's browse high rep 78 C and you will see that all the threes have been replaced. Now we just have fours, as you can see here, and fives. You can also use replace to replace a single value if you want, or a list. So instead of using the qualifier if, we're going to use the qualifier in. Suppose someone told you that in observation 10, the repair record was actually a four and not a missing. So you can say, I want to replace in high rep 78 C, it's going to be equal to four in observation 10. So observation 10 is going to be replaced from a missing to a four. Let's execute this before just make sure, control D, note here, this is the one we're substituting. So we're taking a period here a missing and we're substituting for a four. Let me select this and execute and note how it has indeed been substituted. If I want to go back, I can just do the opposite and change a four for a missing, which is more realistic and execute. And here it is back to missing. Let's close this. And the last command I want to show you is to rename a variable. So we have changed this high rep 78 C to only contain those observations with four or five repairs on the record. So instead of being high rep 78, I want to say this is a very high repair record. So I want to rename my variable high rep 78 C, which has been modified to very high rep 78. So all I have to do is use the command rename, the name of the variable, the current name, and the new name we want to give this variable. So note here on the right, we have high rep 78 C and it's going to become very high rep 78. So we just select everything. We can also select the comment. It's not going to change anything and press control D. And here we are. We have a new variable, actually the old variable with a new name, which is very high rep 78. In our next video, we're going to learn to use the command label.